lighting is much better. Hey guys, welcome to Elizabeth Central. So I'm currently on my way to work. Um, I feel like this is the only time that I get to be able to put my thoughts in a video and just like continue the process of, you know, mentally being all there. Not all there, like I'm gone most of the time. I mean for the video. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so today's topic is pretty much going to be about toxic relationships and in my experience and what I know that a lot of people go through um, being in one themselves. You will see that my lips look chapped. That's because they are. Um, and I have like foundation all over it so it looks weird. I promise you guys I am not on any drugs or anything like that. Just wanted to clear that out. So, um, pretty much just being in a toxic relationship, one thing that I will mention is that when you awaken and you're like, oh crap, like I'm in a toxic relationship, you awaken. However, does that mean that you are ready to get out of it? So basically, when you're in a toxic relationship, you get that moment where you wake up and you're like, holy crap, like what am I doing to myself? How did I not see this sooner? Right? There's that process, that thought, everything. But then you go into the state of, but you know what? There's good things about this relationship. It's not all bad. If you're thinking like that, you're not near close to getting out of this relationship. You're just not. You have to you eventually start growing hate for the person and you start overseeing what was good in the relationship because a toxic relationship i will say maybe 15 to 20 percent you can have of good times and maybe not even that i'm not looking at statistics i'm just making shit up but i know for a fact 80 percent or more is toxic for example for me there was times, but two times that I can legit remember that in my relationship, I was asked for money. It's like, hey, let me borrow money and then I'll give it back to you next week. It's like, okay, like what are you gonna do? He, he would just make shit up. I, I don't remember the excuses that he would give me. I would be lying if I do. But I was like, okay, so the first time stupid me i can't believe i did that i should have invested in something good but i gave him four hundred dollars four hundred dollars okay um and this is out of my hard earning money like you have a job too so why the hell couldn't you help yourself out come next week i didn't see nothing i never got my money back um i want to say maybe five months later again hey i need to borrow money and I'm like, what the hell? Like, where is this money going to? Last time you didn't even give me anything back. What do you mean? Like, I help you with this. I help you with that. And it's like, yeah, but that's not what I need. Like, I don't need help. I got me. I need my money back. And in order for me to tell myself, you know what? Like, I need this relationship to work. Just don't argue. Oh, my God. My eyebrows are bothering me. Anyways. Um, I'm like, I need this relationship to work. So you know what? He needs the money. Whatever. Money comes and goes. So I, I lend him half. So 200 or like 300 Somewhere around there. But it was a lot less. Not a lot less. Because it's still a good amount of money. But yeah. So I lend him the money. I never saw it. I never saw that damn money. So again, another time comes where he's like, hey, I need money. And I'm like, you know what? Like, no, like I'm not doing this. I'm putting my foot down. I don't care if you get mad. I could care less. At the end of the day, who's losing here is me. What are you using it for? I have no idea. What are you consuming? I have no clue, but I'm not. I'm not going to be part of this anymore. Like you need money, work your ass like hard for that money. And I never got asked again. I never saw anything. So what could it have been like i can only imagine bad things you know where people think that they can um double the money real quick you know what i'm talking about and then it starts going into you know what like credit doesn't even matter nowadays like we should go into a business where we do fraud you know pretty much like like to double your money here here we go with the mentality the little mentality 
I'm not thinking straight. Oh, like all it takes is just going into one store, getting all the loans for like a bunch of things, electronics, and then selling them and making a profit. And yeah, your credit's gonna go to shit. Mind you, this is a time where the market, everything was going down. Um, a lot of people are losing their houses, foreclosure. I forgot what it was called, but I'm sure it was all the US. Anyway, so I was like, uh, why my credit though? Why don't you F up your credit? I'm like, I actually care for it. I'm like, I'll be one of those little like percentage of people that will have good credit versus everybody else. So I want to maintain my credit. No, thank you. So at this moment, like, you know, I'm not letting this person manipulate me, but the things that is coming out of their mouth is just so stupid. I'm like, what the hell? So this is where I know that this person doesn't care about me. Yet, I'm still in the relationship for another three years, fast forward. You start to see that they're always with their friends, that you don't really matter. Um, making excuses when you're doing everything that you can, you know, you're providing income. Relationship is just me, giving, 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 giving. And I start to grow tired of this, stop giving. This man doesn't deserve a beautiful girl, like he doesn't. So I start gaining weight. And this is for me because I am so naive I, and I can't tell myself, you know what, you're done with this relationship because every time I do, we end up back together. So what I need to do at this moment is be able to not be so attractive looking for this person. So yeah, I start to gain weight and it's hard to talk about it because I really never put it out there that happens and then he just starts going into the whole mode of like you don't care about me anymore you're acting different and to me it's like you're damn right like I'm always doing everything that I can for this relationship you're doing nothing finito like I'm done I'm done trying like I need you to let me go like I need you to let me live happy like if I say it's done it's over with it's over over with I don't need you contacting me I don't need none of that and it's like of course when a person has had it all and they've taken advantage of a person over and over uh, manipulating them and they're finally not getting nothing out of it yeah they don't want to let it go it's scary what am I gonna do without you this relationship is all I know and like 100% great this is all I know this is my security blanket like I'm not gonna find what if I don't find anybody better what if all men are the same like you start thinking a lot all blah blah I can't fucking talk you start thinking about all these other things you know but what you have to do is take control of the situation. You have to tell yourself, you know what? Like, no, I deserve better. I am better. And I got myself. Like, I don't need a man. I got myself. Even if you have a child, like, who cares? You need to make sure that you have your shit together. And I will tell you this. When you're in a toxic relationship, no matter if you have goals and all these dreams, you're not going to get to them because you're so sunk in in this hole that this person has you in that when you try to get out and you're almost there, boom, they'll pull you down and you're back in the freaking hole. Like you just completely have to be out of the relationship to be able to succeed. For me, honestly, I was trying to get a house. like. This was all like being in the toxic relationship, but thinking about myself, you know. I told myself, I'm going to be better, I'm going to do better, and I'm going to show him. I'm going to show him what success looks like, and hopefully he jumps on board. But no, like, he's not going to jump on board. It's not going to happen. Like, it doesn't matter if you're the perfect wife, girlfriend, whatever you want to call yourself, mistress, whatever. You cook, you clean, you're sexy as hell. Um, and you're always providing. Like, that doesn't matter. If the guy is not ready for the relationship, it's not going to be a good relationship. Like, he has to want it. Not just you. He has to feel the same way. He has to provide for you the same way. Like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're the más puerca del mundo o la más limpia 
if you're like the dirtiest girl on earth or the cleanest like if he wants you he wants you that's it point period blank and a lot of times a lot of girls see themselves like oh my god like i have the looks i have everything like he's never gonna leave me but it happens cheating happens and then sometimes you look at the other person and you're like what about them like i'm fucking great don't lose that self don't lose yourself keep thinking you're fucking great and move on you know you deserve better like a guy's not gonna go feelings and stuff like that like if they want to screw around they're gonna screw around like point period blank if you're in a toxic relationship and you're still considering the good things that happen you're not ready to move on i'm sorry to tell you this but you're not ready to move on you have to think differently you have to tell yourself like no i'm done this is this is insane and things start to move along like i said and i was distracted i was i was working on getting a house um and it never happened to me it never happened and one house i had already put my down payment the closing costs everything and i backed out um i think you have a week a week to cancel so out of like day five i told myself you know what i can't do this it's too far and being in the toxic relationship that I was um, from my mom's house, it was like maybe like a 50 minute drive. And to me, it's like, I can't do this. What if one day like he comes to the house and I don't let him in and he starts acting stupid, crazy. Yes, I can call 911, but at the same time, I want to have the security knowing that I can drive somewhere close and ask for help, like literally that house was secluded for a lot like a lot of things and that house i could definitely afford that's why i was going for it it was a smaller house um but at the time it was just my daughter and i i wasn't planning on him living with me even though the talk between me and him um but yeah i was like no like there's no way like it's gonna happen like i gotta think of something smart and just live on my own but just thinking like what if something happens because I already went through physical abusiveness at this point in the relationship. So I'm like, I don't want to have an altercation that puts me in the position where I'm like, bro, like, you have nothing. You don't have anybody. I don't want that. I don't want that in my life. So anyways, I backed out. never ended up getting a house, but I'm saving up. I'm you know just doing good for myself uh, I actually got promoted after this toxic relationship uh, what else I got a new car after this toxic relationship I lost my weight that I gained after this toxic relationship um, shit, what? there's a lot of debris in the freeway in general overall I succeeded so I feel like I got my life just changed 180 completely instead of going in the same spiral in the same freaking dark hole that I was in my personality changed I don't know you just feel better you feel like a million pounds lifted off your ch shoulders it's just it's a life-changing experience and I encourage you to find that in yourself make another video in regards to what you can do to help thanks guys for watching and i'm so sorry about the lighting but again i'm in the car driving and yeah thanks Bye.